Dear Lightworker or Starseed, I have an important message for you directly from my Pleiadian guide. I connected with her earlier today to get an update as to the status of what's happening with this ascension process, what's happening with the collective, the energy, why things look so wacky around the planet, why there's all these wars breaking out, and all of this, this fighting, like infighting, fighting within um, political parties, fighting between nations, just a lot of strange things happening right now. So I wanted to get some insight from her perspective as to what is really going on. And this message was just, just mind-blowing, absolutely amazing. And if you listen to this video until the end, you're going to feel a whole lot better, a whole lot more at peace with what we're experiencing in our reality. So she started out by reminding me or explaining to me that, you know, when we communicate with our galactic guides, essentially we are communicating with beings that are of a higher frequency, but we're locked or anchored into this timeline reality as human beings, right? From this human avatar, this human perspective, we're grounded in reality. So the timeline, really, you could think of it as a sideways um, or flat frequency bandwidth. When we think of frequency, we think of like 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D and up, right? Well, our guides, our ET guides are up here on a higher frequency bandwidth. But when we lay that down, that becomes a timeline. So when we're communicating with our higher frequency guides, our star guides, our ET guides, we are essentially like communicating with the future, okay? And I know you've probably heard that our guides are from the future. The ET guides are from the future. They're future versions of us. Well, they are really higher frequency versions of us, but we, from the perspective of this timeline, we experience that as future versions of us, okay? So from that higher frequency perspective, our guides and those aspects of us that are in the higher frequency bandwidths or dimensional fields have access to the whole of the timeline. Now, my Pleiadian guide reminded me today of when I first awakened, shortly right around the time I first awakened in the guided meditation where I met my spirit guide, I was guided into this room, it was a cathedral type of room in my meditation, and there was this book. And I remember my guide saying to me that that book represents the all of human history. So I was looking at this book and there was a, humanity's past, the present, and humanity's future. It was all there in available to me to see. So what we're experiencing right now in our current present time is one point in human history along the whole scale. Now, when we rise in frequency, we have access to be able to perceive different points in time. Okay, so right now we are affixed or focused on this present time and we see all these weird, strange circumstances Okay, and all of this happening, right? This is what we're experiencing. But what really is going on is that we are really experiencing the past. We have risen in consciousness, star seeds, light workers. You are no longer anchored or affixed to a solid or inflexible 3D timeline. We're in that timeline. Everything that you're experiencing or that you see going on within the world with wars and those types of things you would be convinced that it is happening real time right now. But because we have expanded our consciousness, we are now able to perceive the timeline in a different way. And what we are experiencing really is the past. Okay, we are seeing a past version of Earth, something that has happened already, but because we're from the, the perspective of the human avatar, it's like we're looking into the past. So it's already happened. And all of that we're seeing is just like the after effects or remnants of an old reptilian energy that is surfacing because it can no longer be sustained within the planet. Okay. The planet has shifted. The energy can no longer be sustained. It is up. It is rising. And it is in the collective so we have the ability to see it now. But the events that caused that to rise up 
have already happened. Okay, so when we look around, we're seeing the effects of events that happened in the past. We have the ability to see that from a higher frequency. Okay, so those in the collective, those humans who have not awakened, who are being driven or guided by their five senses only and their fear and their limiting beliefs, look out into reality and think that is the state that is happening right now, that is the present state, which looks very chaotic. Okay, the chaotic times already happened. We are just seeing the after effects. And she explained it to me like when you're, let's say you were in a hurricane and you were sheltered in your home and the hurricane's going through, right? You don't really see it because you're in your your house, your home, your shelter. You don't have that, that view of what's happening outside. But after the hurricane clears and the event itself is over, you walk outside and you see all the destruction. Now, if you are focused right then into what you are seeing and you are believing that that is the reality in this moment, you would think that you're in the middle of destruction. The destruction already occurred. It occurred when you were in your home, in your shelter, okay? Destruction already occurred. What you're seeing is evidence of something that's already happened. And that is a big, massive release of dense energy from the planet. This energy, we call it reptilian energy, that has been controlling the humanity, the collective, the matrix, the grid, whatever you want to call it, for long periods of time since the earth descended into darkness, is now being lifted. In fact, it already has been lifted. We are just seeing the after effects of that energy. We're seeing the remnants of what remains, just like stepping outside after a storm or a hurricane. The destructive force already went through, but you're standing there with your eyes and you're seeing all of the destruction. So you're processing that as though it's happened in the moment. Okay, so that's what's happening to us, uh, to the planet collectively. You as a light worker have the ability to elevate your consciousness, rise in frequency, and see all of this from that higher frequency perspective. Know that what you're experiencing, all of this conflict, all this fighting around the world, is really remnants of events that have happened in the past. Okay, so essentially it's kind of almost like you're kind of you're kind of looking into the past. And with an elevated state of consciousness, you have the ability to do that. Just like when I was shown that book that represented all of humanity. I could have made the choice to look into the past or I could have made the choice to look into the future, right? It was there, all of it in its entirety, okay? It's only when we're anchored into a lower frequency timeline, completely identified only as the human, do we think what is happening in this moment is reality, okay? None of it is real. We are just experiencing it as such. And if you remember that you are a multidimensional being, you will start to be able to see what is happening on the planet has to do with events that have already taken place. It's just the after effects of it. Okay. It's just the, it's the remnants of it. It is clearing. The earth is on its upward trajectory and frequency. And that can't be stopped. So you're seeing old energy trying to anchor back in and it no longer can be sustained. So it's all up in the collective view. It's like it's kicking and screaming, okay? It's like the final death throws, okay? So we're moving up in frequency. The planet's moving up in frequency. We are starting to move into dimensional fields now, and our consciousness is moving into dimensional fields. The planet is as well, where we're going to start to be able to manifest energies on the planet that were here in the past, but weren't able to really come forward because the frequency didn't allow it, but now it can. So you're going to start to see more types of energetic effects, you know, auras, energy, things like that. You're going to start to see um, maybe more elemental type beings. You're going to be able to manifest energies around you that are actually conscious, that are conscious, and you can interact with them. These are thought forms. These are, these are thought forms that have always 
been available for you to manifest, but at a lower frequency state, when the planet was a lower frequency and we were living more from a perspective of fear, maybe they would have manifested more in a like a religious type of demonic type of framework. Well, that type of energy, since you alchemize that, now is going to start to be able to come forward as either angelic or as cosmic, whatever you choose that energy to be, because your consciousness now has the ability to perceive it and the planet has the ability to really start to sustain it. So we're elevating up into a reality where this energy can now be utilized by you with conscious intent to manifest alternative forms of consciousness, beings. Okay, so you're going to start to interact with energetic beings that are really part of the planet. But you have the ability to take that energy and bring it into form and actually interact with that. Okay, much like with our ET guides that are residing on really high frequency bandwidths, they're going to start to be able to come in and you're going to be able to start to perceive them as well. So the planet is radically shifting into a new state of reality. It's that split off, right? From the old, the old and the new. Okay, so um, it's a truly exciting time. My Pleiadian guide was very, she wanted to remind me, she goes, you know, just be mindful of where you're limiting yourself and work to release those limiting beliefs, the things that are keeping me anchored to a lower frequency reality. And she wanted me to pass that on to you guys as well, to be mindful of the thoughts that you're entertaining and the emotions that are rising up within you. Because as, as the more of the earth's higher frequency light becomes available for us to access, now we're moving into higher frequency fields, meaning that manifestation now starts to happen much more quickly. The energy is available to support that. So what can you manifest with your thoughts when it has positive, high frequency emotions behind it, right? The energy is there to be able to assist you with that. And like I said, this energy is conscious as everything is consciousness. You have the ability to communicate with beings that in fact you have the power to create. You are taking this energy that is available, you are putting thought and emotional energy into it, and you are creating things, and you are creating beings, and they're conscious. Just like we did, if you've had experience when you were in fear with shadow beings and those types of entities, these were all being manifested by you based on your lower frequency. Now you are at a higher frequency. So you are manifesting the polarity or have the power or ability to manifest the polarity of that energy. So as this dark, dense reptilian energy that can no longer be anchored starts, you know, continues to alchemize, it's going to those gaps are going to be filled in by higher frequency light that you as a light worker have anchored into your body and into the planet. And the more that light comes, we're seeing it with all of these solar storms, these X-class solar flares are coming in. We just had another full moon. It's like an energetic cocktail of you coming in and landing in this body and grounding into the planet. You have the ability to take that light and manifest in this amazing matrix or dimensional field, whatever it is, you desire and those things can come into being. You could draw them to you, literally create them. The gap between trying to manifest and putting conscious intent into it and actual manifestation is shrinking. But know that some of the energy that you are bringing forward is truly conscious to the point where it's like almost self-aware and you could communicate with it. It's, in fact, it is self-aware. You can communicate with it. Okay, it's just, it's a truly amazing time. The reality that we were expecting to move into um, is nothing like what it really truly is. It's truly magical. Things will come into your field. Things will leave your field. 
You have the ability to control all of it. So again, it's important to become aware of the thoughts that you're thinking and the, the emotions that those thoughts are triggering within you because as our power to create our reality increases from a consciousness perspective, we want to be able to manifest, create a reality that is in alignment with our truest and highest good. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.